Hey guys, Supercar Street Racing, early in the morning, it's cold, freezing, and here is the club car, club car precedent, can't talk this morning, still half asleep, but um, we are actually going to be plasti dipping this guy today, and that's going to take some prep first, and I haven't decided whether I'm going to spray the trim while it's on the car. That means if the cart was ever taken apart, the trim would peel off the dip, which may not be great for a lot of things, but if I don't, if I do the trim separately, I have a ton more taping and all that, so I'm thinking of just spraying the whole thing and just not worrying about it. Uh, I'm not gonna take the back off either. I'm just try to spray underneath there as best I can. Um, but I do have some taping off to do on the taillights or either remove them one or the other. So, probably removing them is the best bet. It only looks like there's a couple of screws there. Um, looks like they're actually held in with like wood screws. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get busy on that and prepping right now. And that's what's happening on the channel today. All right guys, welcome back. As you can see, we got the badge removed, we got the head, uh, tail light removed, and now we're going to be deglossing the cart with this. This helps the paint stick, so let's do this.
Okay, we got the entire body deglossed and prepped. Now we gotta tape off some key areas that, cause this stuff will go everywhere.
All right, we are back inside and always remember to warm up your Plasti Dip cans. We are actually going to be using Rust Oleum peel coat, which is more or less the same thing. I'm doing some hot water here, and while I give these about five minutes to warm up in the water, um, I will take a break. All right, guys, we are out here, and we have our Rust Oleum peel coat ready to go here. We're going to start putting on the first coat and yes we have warmed up our cans because it is probably if I could guess in the garage it's probably in the 60s um, maybe upper 50s that's the coldest but I've had the heat on in here for about three hours and I've got a fan blowing on the uh, on the uh, garage from the inside the house and the heat is on in the house so I brought the temperature up quite a bit in here to try to get this golf cart warmer uh, this stuff doesn't like cold or humidity, so this is perfect because there's no humidity. Remember when you start spraying, always spray off to the side to clear the nozzle, and every time you spray, turn the can upside down and spray once every time you take a break, or the nozzle will get clogged and you'll get, like a splurt will come out and it'll mess up your job, so remember, first coat is always light.
Okay, we're gonna go ahead and black out these tail lights with plastic dip. Welcome back guys and it is time for the last coat and remember your last coat is when you peel your tape. The plastic dip has to be wet when you peel your tape or it will peel up your actual dip. So you peel immediately after you put your last coat. We do have a few issues here where the plastic dip didn't stick and I see a hair in it which is driving me crazy but I can't get it out of there now without peeling up the dip. So here I go, I'm going to put the last coat on and peel the tape at the same time. Right, guys welcome back and I have totally finished the murdered out plastic dipped golf cart and it is about a 7 on a scale of 10 I do see some striping in the plastic dip you can see there not sure why that happened didn't have great results with the uh, Dupacolor plastic dip I have better results with the original plastic dip stuff but for now 
it's good if I ever want to take the real plastic dip and do another coat here I could try that and I got the tail lights all murdered out as well and it looks awesome and I did get the windshield back installed so here is a look I went ahead and dressed the seats and I dressed the tires the dash is not fully in yet the mat is on order so that'll be here within two or three days and this is the murdered out Batmobile cart and I hope you guys enjoyed this if you want to try it yourself I did prep the cart completely but there are some troubling spots that didn't stick um, I don't know why but it's probably best to sand very lightly the entire cart I did not do that I used deglosser instead and I have mixed results with the deglosser but um, overall the cart is completely black now there's no white anything there's no brown anything and wow what a transformation. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys soon.